Okay, so in this video, we will be solving problem number 2.3 of Daniel Kleppner and Kolenkov. So what the problem says is that, let's say I have these two masses, M1 and M2, and a force F is acting on it. And uh, they, they will move with some acceleration as a whole system of A. And But I want to calculate what is the contact force between the two surfaces, right? So let's solve this problem. So what will be the common acceleration? So I can just write an expression which is F equals to M1 plus M2 to A. And uh, A will be, A will be equal to F divided by M1 plus M2. And here my F is three Newtons and M1 plus M2 will be again three. So I can just write it as one meter per second square, right? And now just take a look at it here. Um, let's say I draw my mass M1 here. Okay, this it's a rough drawing. So M1. So there's its weight M1g. There is a normal force that is due to the surface down there due to the um, yeah surface down there, and there is a force F acting here, and obviously there will be a force due to M2, right? The contact force which I'm talking about. And yet, this M1 as a whole moves with some acceleration that is one meter per second square, right? So I know that uh, this one meter per second square is in the is in, in is in the horizontal direction, not in the vertical direction. So it means that N and Mg they balance out each other. So it's all the plays between F and capital F and small f. So the body is moving in this direction. So I will write it as F minus of small f equals to M1 into A. Yes, it's also moving with A, acceleration, capital acceleration. So it will be three minus of small f, that is um, two into one. And my F will be equal to one Newton. And to just check this fact if contact force is one Newton, just plug it in here. So I have my um, M2, this is block. Yeah, my drawing is getting worse. Anyways, let me draw it clearly. Yeah, so I have this M2 here, and the only force that's acting on it is the contact force and and it's moving with some act with acceleration a that is equal to one meter per second square so yeah um f equals to m to a and if i put f as one newton and acceleration as one meter per square my mass should be one kg and just to confirm this thing M2 is 1 kg, so it means that my answer is correct. So with this, we are done with this problem, and I'll see you in the next problem. Bye.